I Want Answers is made possible by the Grand River Dam Authority, the Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation, RCB Bank, Rogers State University, the Tulsa Port of Catoosa, Kelvion Incorporated, Advanced Research Chemicals, Bank of Commerce in Shoto, and the generous support of viewers like you. We began the season with 16 teams, and tonight we are down to the final two. The Wilburton Diggers and the Riverfield Ravens are here for Season 7 Championship on I Want Answers. Hello everyone and welcome to Oklahoma's favorite academic game show, I Want Answers, presented by GRDA. I'm your host, Anna Berry. Tonight is a very special night as we welcome the Wil Wilburton Diggers and the Riverfield Ravens to our championship competition. Now each student on tonight's winning team will be awarded $2,000 scholarship. The runner-up team will receive $1,000 scholarships each. Now let's start off by meeting the players from Wilburton. Andrew Hawthorne, sophomore, how you doing? We got sophomore James McCabe, hey there. We have senior Devin Cox, hi hi, and senior Anthony Giles Goddard, team captain. All right, now let's meet the players from Riverfield. We'll start with you, Tobin Anderson, uh, freshman, hi. And then we have Alex Matazidi, sophomore. Hi. Hello. Brady Heinig, junior. <laughs> and Adara Reed, team captain, a senior. All right, well, thank you, teams. Are you ready, Wilburton? Yes. Excited, are you ready, Riverfield? Yes. Ready yeah. to win scholarship money? Yes. Awesome, are you ready to play audience? Well, I know you all want some good questions, but this show is about what I want, what do I want? Answers. Answers, all right. We begin our competition again with the speed round. Next up, it's the speed round. The speed round consists of individual answer questions worth 10 points each. The first team member to buzz in gets to answer. No conferring between team members is allowed in this round. All right, we ready? Buzzer hands ready? Here we go. Name the single-celled reproductive body in algae, fungi, ferns, and mosses, which grows into a new plant. Riverfield? Spore! Correct. What kind of star is described as a super dense mass of neutrons with such a powerful Wilburton? Neutron star. Correct. What form of nonfiction resembles an autobiography but depicts only a portion of a person's life? Wilburton? Memoir. Correct. When a bell is struck, no delay seems to occur between the striking and the ringing. What term that rhymes with extraneous indicates the time between such a cause and effect? Wilburton? Instantaneous. Correct. Photo question. Name this city situated across 118 small islands in northeastern Italy. Riverfield? Venice. Correct. Into which of the three major classifications of rock does most of the rock in the cores of the world's various mountain ranges belong? Wilburton? Igneous. Incorrect. Riverfield? Metamorphic. Correct. Math question. What is the volume of the container you need to hold 40.8 hectograms of mercury? Wilburton? 1,000. Incorrect. Riverfield? 80 liters. Incorrect. Correct answer is 300. Video question by Justin Alberti, GRDA Corporate Communications Director. The world's largest single deposit of pure alabaster is located in what caves near Freedom, Oklahoma? Riverfield? Alabaster Caverns. Correct. In the seventh century, two classes existed in Arabia. The house dwellers were found only near the coasts. The other class, whose name now indicates pastoral nomads, were called what? Riverfield? Bedouin. Correct. All right, photo question. Name this ivory white Riverfield? Taj Mahal. Correct. The Eritrean War of Independence was fought between Eritrean separatists and what country? Riverfield? Ethiopia. Yep, correct. All right, the characters in Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter are mostly members of what group of English Protestants? Wilburton? Puritans. Correct. 
Video question by Mark Wayne Mullen, Oklahoma's second district U.S. representative. Usually related to capital offenses, what is a temporary delay of punishment called? Riverfield? Stay. Correct. Stay of execution. All right. Name the pressure ulcerations of the skin resulting from prolonged confinement in bed. Riverfield? Bed sores? Correct. What is the present name of the region that would become New Columbia if it were to ever achieve U.S. statehood? Riverfield? District of Columbia? Correct. In what type of poem do lines or verses begin with successive letters of the alphabet? Wilburton? An alphabetical poem? Incorrect. Riverfield? An alphabetory. Incorrect. Abecedarian poem. Yep. All right, math question. The equation of the locus of ordered pairs equidistant from the points 4 and 2 and negative 2, 2 is x equals what? Wilburton? 1. Correct. Great. All right, what U.S. officer... Aha, well, that bell means time's up for the speed round. The score stands at 50 Wilburton and 100 Riverfield. Round two is coming up next. We'll be right back. Every day, the employees of the Grand River Dam Authority strive for excellence by focusing on the five E's. Employees, electricity, environmental stewardship, economic development, and efficiency. We do this by producing low-cost, reliable electricity that touches 75 of the 77 counties in the state. At no cost to the taxpayers, we also manage 70,000 surface acres of lakes and the scenic Illinois River. Annually, the efforts of Team GRDA facilitate over $450 million in economic activity for Oklahoma. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation is a proud sponsor of I Want Answers on RSU Public TV. Throughout his life, Gerald Westby worked hard to add to the quality of life through his legacy of support for the arts, arts education, and culture. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation continues this work. Imagine a place strong enough to weather any storm, built on a foundation of trust and integrity. Imagine sowing a single seed that makes a forest grow. What if there's a bank like that where all your financial dreams can become reality? Well, that's my bank. That's RCB Bank. Welcome back to I Want Answers presented by GRDA. Now before we start our Advantage round, let's take a minute to get to know the Wilburton Diggers a little bit better. Andrew, we're going to start with you. You're a sophomore. Tell us a little bit about what you love in school right now. Uh, Color Guard? Well, that ended with marching season. It ended, now we're doing okay. concert band. Are you into drama? I know you guys are all into uh, drama and speech. Are you into that as well? Yeah, but once again, I do more competitive speech than to play. Competitive speech. What do you? What do you? Are you? Is that like debate? Or are you? Well, actually, I am on the debate team. You're on the debate so team. So is him. Cool. What do you like to debate about? Well, we don't really have a choice. What are you really great at? I haven't really debated. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to debate about? We, we have to debate about the topic that's given to us. Okay. What about Eagle Scouts? Are you going to continue that? Uh, yes. Awesome. Cool. James, what about you? What are you loving about school this year? Uh, I'm loving, uh, we're about to start competitive speech season as soon as uh, Greece is over. Yeah. And, so and what I'm role really are you in Greece again? I'm Kanicki. Kanicki. <laughs> cool. Yeah. And so, yeah, do you want to continue this speech and debate? Yeah. And cool. yeah, we went to this workshop about a couple of weeks ago where we got to talk to this guy about debate a lot and he got to teach us some knowledge. Yeah. But math is really your favorite subject. Yeah, of course it is. You love your it, math. It's amazing. Okay, Devin, what about you? You're the star in the in Greece, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're playing Danny Zuko. Yes, ma'am. How are you preparing for that? Uh, I've been having to listen to songs, read out of the scripts, and you know, hours of work. 
you know, we had practice last night from four to eight. Oh, wow. And we had to cool. say a little bit after it even. Can you sing us a song? Um, no, no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Do you prefer <laughs> Grease One or Grease Two? Uh, I like the, uh, the John Travolta Grease. Yeah, thank you. Grease One. Yeah. All right, awesome. Good luck and break a leg on that show. Anthony, what about you? <gasps> Woo! See? <laughs> that was just a precursor. <laughs> Making sure you guys are awake. <laughs> um, <I'm>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I just love how my schedule's finally clearing up. I've been like really stressful recently. Yeah, you're a senior. Yeah, cool. there's a lot of stuff to do, and with the play also. I mean, practices are crazy, and just finally starting to get a little bit of break. It's it's nice. What's your role in Greece? I'm also Kaniki and Roger. Awesome. Where are you going next year? Um, I'm planning to go to OSU. Awesome. Up in cool. Stillwater. Cool. Well, thank you guys. Nice to get to know you and, and your team. All right, now it's time for the advantage round. Next up, the advantage round. In this round, the teams face off by first attempting to answer a speed question. The first team that answers correctly receives 10 points and the opportunity to answer three advantage questions worth 10 points. After the three advantage questions, it's back to speed questions to determine who gets the next advantage question. The speed questions can be answered by anyone, but the answers for the advantage questions must come from the team captain. All right, are we ready? Here's your first speed question. What U.S. officer and graduate of the Naval Academy commanded the Asiatic Squadron during the Spanish-American War? Wilburton? Perry? Incorrect. Riverfield? Grant. Incorrect. George Dewey? All right, video question by Sheila Shook, Education Coordinator, Tulsa Port of Catoosa. Even though river barges hold 1,500 tons of cargo, only nine foot of water is needed for transportation. What is the name of the ability or tendency of an object to float in water, air, or some other fluid? Wilburton? Buoyancy. Correct. Advantage for Wilburton. Topic, Oklahoma. Name the national memorial that was erected subsequent to the 1995 bombing at the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building. Oklahoma City Bombing Memorial. Incorrect. It's Oklahoma City National Memorial. All right. Before it became a single state, Oklahoma consisted of two regions, including Oklahoma Territory and what other territory? Indian Territory. Correct. In the early years of the 20th century, there was a proposal to have the eastern part of Indian Territory admitted as a state. The state was to have been named after what Cherokee scholar? Sequoia. Correct. <laughs> Sometimes it... <laughs> it pays off to guess. All right. All right. So we'll go back to our speed questions. The Swiss and French Anabaptists, who were followed by Jacob Amman, became known as what sect of the Mennonites? Riverfield? Irish. Correct. Advantage for Riverfield. Topic trails. What is the Spanish name for the road established in 1770 that linked the California towns of San Diego and San Francisco? Spanish trails. Incorrect. El Camino Real. The introduction of the Atch Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad in 1880 made wagon travel so unattractive and slow that what trail between Missouri and New Mexico fell into disuse? Oregon Trail? Yeah, sure. Oregon. Incorrect. Santa Fe Trail. The western end of the Mormon Trail was in what Utah city? Salt Lake City. Salt Lake, yeah. Salt Lake City. Correct. All right, back to speed. Photo question. This monument is the world's tallest stone structure. Riverfield? Washington Monument. As a four-sided narrow tapering monument that ends in a pyramid-like shape at the top, it is also known as the world's tallest what? Wilburton? Obelisk. Correct. I know. We all learn. It's all good. Advantage for Wilburton. Topic is islands. What Italian island south of Corsica gave its name to small, often canned, edible fish? Sardinia. 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 Correct. This is about what U.S. territory? Quote, it is a group of five volcanic islands and two coral atolls 2,600 miles south of Hawaii in the South Pacific. Probably American Samoa. American Samoa. Correct. Big Diomede and Little Diomede Islands are closest to what two continents? Uh, 
Asia and Africa? Incorrect. Asia and North America. All right, back to speed. In the U.S., what phrase indicates non-elected civilian government workers whose employment is often at least partially based on competitive examinations? Riverfield? Civil servant. Correct. Advantage for Riverfield. Botany. <laughs> Green algae have what structures that contain chlorophyll? Chloroplast. Correct. In what leaf arrangement do several leaves emerge together around a single stem node? Radial. Radial. Incorrect. World. Ah. Ecologically speaking, what is the antonym of a pioneer species? Settler. Incorrect. The answer is climax species. All right, back to speed. Following Edwin Drake's discovery in Pennsylvania, cheap petroleum products quickly ousted what other expensive oil product as the illuminant of choice? Wilburton? Whale oil. Correct. Advantage for Wilburton, oceanography. Taken together, the continental rise, the continental slope, and the continental shelf comprise the continental what? Floor? Incorrect. Margin. The Grand Banks is known as the foggiest place on Earth. The reason is that in this region, the cold waters of the Labrador Current meet the warm waters of what other current? Gulf Stream. Correct. Occurring at the mouths of rivers and swamps near the sea, what water that is neither fresh nor salt water, but is somewhere in between, is described as being what? Brackish. Brackish. Correct. All right, back to speed. Math questions. Aha, man. <laughs> that bell is, means the time for advantage round is over. The score now stands at 140 and 140. We have a tie. Stay tuned. Let's break this tie. We'll be right back. I Want Answers is made possible by the Tulsa Port of Catoosa, one of the largest, most inland river ports of the U.S. inland river system. Agricultural commodities, building materials, fuel, and machinery are shipped into and out of the Tulsa Port of Catoosa daily using a combination of barge, rail, and truck. To learn more about the Tulsa Port of Catoosa, visit their website at tulsaport.com. And also by Kelvion Incorporated, global experts in heat exchange, committed to providing quality products and services with honesty, integrity, and commitment to customers, employees, shareholders, and the global community. For more information about Kelvion, visit kelvion.com. And also by Advanced Research Chemicals, providing customer-focused solutions to basic and advanced chemical applications. ARC has a long history of giving back to our local and international communities. For more information, visit fluoridearc.com. I love coming into the lab every day. My job is to screen evidence for DNA analysis. When I started at Roger State University, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. But after I took my first chemistry class, I realized that I wanted to be in the lab. It does feel good to go to school and to find a direction and then wind up doing something that I enjoy. Not everyone can say that. It all started for me at Roger State University. I Want Answers is made possible by the Bank of Commerce in Shoto. Welcome back to I Want Answers presented by GRDA. Now before we start our whirlwind round, let's get to know the Riverfield Ravens a little bit better. How y'all doing? Great. Good. Okay, Tobin, let's start with you. What's your favorite subject in school? What are you loving about school now? Um, favorite core subject, probably German. Um, favorite extracurricular, probably debate. And your favorite next Netflix show? Um, <laughs> right now, that's American Vandal. Ooh, cool. Okay, Alex, what about you? What are you loving in school? Going there. What do you love about entering the premises? It's great. There's all sorts of classes with history and STEM and German. We, our coach is our German teacher, and we're here to embarrass him. Awesome. How good are you at German? Ah, uh, nicht, nicht sehr gut. Uh, ich kann sprechen. Danke. All right, Brady, what about you? What's your favorite subject? 
Um, basketball. I wouldn't say that's a subject, but or that's my favorite, favorite thing, thing about to do. school. Cool. What, yeah. what what position do you play? Um, guard. Guard. guard do you continue guard. that on to college, maybe? Um, yeah. I don't know if I can play like at a big school, but I mean, if I get like offers from f small schools, then yeah. You never know. But, yeah, never know. Keep trying. What about you, Adara? Um, I love a lot of things, but I think I'm at that point where I'm ready to graduate. Yes. And where are you heading next year? I'm not sure yet. I've applied to six schools, so we'll see. Which one do you want? This one. Ooh, <laughs> Chicago. I went to school yeah. there. Nice. Chicago. Not at that school, but in Chicago. Yeah. Cool. Well, good luck with that. Thank, Thank you guys. You. Really enjoying working with you all. You guys are smart and fun. All right. So now it's time for the whirlwind round. Next up, the whirlwind round. In this round, the trailing team gets to pick from one of three categories and they get to choose whether they wish to answer the category's questions themselves or force the other team to answer. The team will have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Then the other team gets their turn at one of three remaining categories. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. If any team correctly answers all 10 of their questions within a minute, they will receive 10 bonus points. Well, as you can see, we have a tie, 140-140, so we had a coin toss. Riverfield, you won the coin toss, so you get to pick out of these three categories. American history, European history, or earth science? We choose to play earth science. For yourself or for, for the For ourselves. Earth? For yourselves, all right, earth science, here we go. What semiconducting element makes up 27.7% of the mass of the Earth's crust. Silicon. Correct. After an extensive study involving compasses, William Gilbert declared that the Earth was a giant what? Magnet. Correct. The name for what supercontinent came from the Greek words for all and Earth? Pangaea. Correct. What division of geologic time is shorter than a period but longer than an age? Epoch. Correct. In which of the three classes of rock does coal belong? Metamorphic. Incorrect. Erotothenes determined which of Earth's measurements? Circumference. Correct. Name the chief agent of erosion in the formation of Badlands topography, such as in South Dakota. Wind. Wind. Incorrect. Which marine habitants are called the rainforests of the ocean? Coral reefs. Correct. Woo! All right, good job, Riverfield. Okay, Wilberton, you guys ready? You get to pick between American history, European history, and coastlines. American history. American history it is. All right, ready? Captain John Smith coined this term for a region that now includes six states. What was, New England? Correct. In 1805, Lewis and Clark reached what geographical goal after an 18-month trek? Pacific Ocean. Correct. In 1841, Matthew Perry attained this rank, a flag officer just below Rear Admiral. Captain. Incorrect. Which U.S. political party lasted from the mid-1830s to the mid-1850s? Whigs. Correct. Stonewall Jackson called him, quote, the only man I know whom I would follow blindfold. Lee? Correct. Who was the last U.S. president of the 19th century? Taft. The Panama Canal opened in the same year that what war began? Spanish-American. Incorrect. Who was the first to call the Native Americans Indians? Christopher Columbus. Correct. Columbus's first voyage. All right. Wow. Okay. Well, we're going back to speed. We have a math question. Ready? Jeremy used the phrase, I mean, 128 times in four days, while Ursula used the same phrase 44 times in two days, and Waldo used it 222 times in six days. On average, how many times daily was this phrase used by all these people together? Wilberton? 91 times. Correct. All right. 
What is the term for the melting of a substance under pressure and the subsequent refreezing after the pressure is released? Riverfield? Triple point. Incorrect. Wilberton? Sublimation. Incorrect. Regelation. Since a machine such as an ore with a mechanical advantage of less than one does not multiply the strength of the force, what does it multiply? Riverfield? Distance. Correct. Name the geographically largest Australian state. Riverfield? Western Australia. Correct. Which zone of post-war Germany did not merge with the others to form the Federal Republic of Germany in 1949? Riverfield? East. Incorrect. Wilberton? West. Incorrect. Russian zone is the correct answer. Cryosol is a soil typically found in what biome? Wilberton? A tundra. Correct. Who wrote these lines? So kind of you, fluted Miss Marple. Perfect home conditions with murder thrown in, said Cedric. Wilberton? Shakespeare. Incorrect. Riverfield? Rowling. Incorrect. Agatha Christie. In 1903, the Russian Marxists split into two rival factions. The left-wing... Riverfield? X and Bolsheviks. What was the name given to the smaller, more moderate faction? Judges? Okay, we're saying correct. What term beginning with P means a stipulation in a statute or document that makes its implementation conditional or qualified? Wilberton? Paradox. Incorrect. Riverfield? Optionality clause. Incorrect. Proviso. Proviso. At what kind of kitchen is food provided to the needy at little or no charge? Riverfield? Soup kitchen. Correct. Osteoarthritis and osteoporosis are diseases of which body system? Riverfield? Skeletal. Correct. Uncle John. Ah. Wow. Okay. So after three rounds, the score stands currently at 210. Wilberton, 250, Riverfield. So <laughs> that means, Riverfield, you guys are our winners. Congratulations. <laughs> Woo! <Yeah. laughs> you all received $2,000 in scholarship money each. But hey, Wilberton, you get $1,000 in scholarships yeah. each. So you guys did a great job, too. <laughs> Woo! Clap, clap, clap. Great job, everyone. <laughs> All right, so that concludes season seven of I Want Answers. We want to thank all of our sponsors for making the show and the scholarships possible. Also, a big thanks to all of our RSU Public TV staff and our student crew who worked so hard all season long to put the show together. Thank you, everyone. And of course, thank you, teams, for playing. You both did a great job. And thank you, audience, for joining us as we showcase the knowledge of our local green country high school academic teams. Be sure to follow I Want Answers on Facebook and Instagram. And remember, you can catch up on past episodes anytime at rsu.tv. We'll see you next time for more exciting competitions on I Want Answers. <laughs> <laughs>